Baby, I wasn't, I wasn't recording. <laughs> I thought I was recording Mike opening the whole box and the whole package, but no. How long I have you been doing it. this for? <laughs> this is my first day, apparently. Clearly. Oh! <laughs> awesome. Adventure awaits. This is going to get a fat piece of clear coat on it. So it looks really nice. And go right on the front of the bus. That's right. Grab your bolt. What's going on here? Oh, here we go. You get your bolt in place in the hole. Yeah. All right. Yours is coming from the other side. Oh my God, it looks so good. <laughs> Mike's trying to straighten our bent bumper with a two by four and a piece of strap. Hospital. Probably. <laughs> this is not the time for that, babe. You're tempting fate. I think you're making progress. I do too, actually. Wow, that has really helped a lot. That's better though because it doesn't have that obvious twist. From yeah. far away, it appears more straight than it did before. Yeah, for sure. See, from out here, it just looks great. It looks very straight. Just four big ones. It's just four big ones? Three, four like that would be fine. Now we're trying to find all the uh, bolts that we put in little Ziploc bags and boxes and we should have done a better job labeling all this stuff but oh well we'll figure it out. Super exciting! Look at the grill back in place! It I'm looks put so the bezels cute! On too. Oh, the front of our bus is starting to look right. Now we need to wash it already. <laughs> I know. So you guys, this bag of bolts and these two little bags with some bolts and screws in them were over $60 at Ace Hardware. This stuff is ridiculous. It was very expensive. But worth it. Totally the right call on the black screws. Yeah, I can't even see them. I'm all looking at the camera lens going, where are they? <laughs> How's it look? You should have turned the arrow pointing up, like just for s and giggles. I'm not turning the arrow pointing up. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to put those curve lights on right there. So bad after all. I labeled all of the little bundles of screws that I bundled up into tape. So now we know where they go. Perfect. On these pieces, I put the screw back in place and then taped it so it wouldn't fall out. So we have the screws that go with these pieces. Yay, this is like putting a puzzle together. Putting a puzzle back together that we disassembled. 
Oh yeah. Karaoke, it's happening here. Don't be spinning randomly. It's stripped. Oh no. Oh there. <laughs> I just were You just weren't there the yet. Tiniest bit away. <laughs> Dude, they don't even go in unison at all. That one's not right. What can you possibly do different, though? There's nothing you can do different. Well, you're wrong about that. What can you do? Move it and turn it over further. This one isn't keyed. Better this time? I think so. Looks better. Yeah. Perfect. They just kind of do their own little dance, don't they? Sure do. I feel like getting out of the sun for a little while, to be honest. Let's do it. It's hot. Break. But man, it sure looks cool put back together, doesn't it? So, this is the center. You can kind of eyeball that pretty well. So just kind of put your hand in a little bit right here. Don't let it slide, push hard. I just let it slide. Damn. I'm gonna have to put a screw up right where you're standing. Oh, we should've got more with black head. Kind of cute, huh? We weren't even looking for it. We were looking for something else online. I don't even remember what, and somehow we stumbled across this. We were like, that's perfect. Do you like it? So good. So good. I just want to wash off all these black things just to see what it looks like done. Clean. It does look great, doesn't it? Oh yeah, thanks for the bird poo. I love these handles. <laughs> yeah. The window cleaning handles, right? I think so. I mean, I, it's not like you can tilt the front of this thing forward like a, like a semi or something. I think they're to hang on to when you clean the windows. I think so. To have an unobstructed view for providing safe transportation to children. Or crazy old adventurers. <laughs> Excellent. Now I'm gonna take a picture of you standing up there, holding on to that thing, doing that, yes. I just busted Mike out here working on stuff without telling me so I could film. I don't like YouTube. Just kidding. I would not say such things if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was promised to be so good. Learning our lesson about leaving the tape on too long though. Yeah. I didn't know I just had like a 14 day. Well, you know, in the beginning of this, we probably thought we were going to have it done within 14 days. It seems like it at the time. Then, reality strikes. Yeah, a lot of reality. Yeah, and days and days worth of reality. Days and days worth of sanding. For sure. God. You want to peel tape on that one? Sure. All this stainless steel hardware. Yep, $60 worth. Yeah, it was crazy, huh? It was totally crazy. Hmm. 
It's not going in. It may not be long enough for a screw. Oh. Um. What do you need? I need a pair of pliers. short check this out it has these things right here right and then there's a slot right here and these things go in the slot oh and then clamp around the bar yes like this like that And then the bolt goes through that. Yeah. No, we should have got a little bit longer bolts. Still might have to get longer bolts. Here. Baby. Super cute. I like it a lot, my honey. That is so cool. I think the whole front of our bus is finally back together. Oh, no, we're still missing some lights up in the front. Never mind. It really looks good. It does. It looks great. I think the green was a really nice touch instead of just having them be all black. I think you're right. I, I just didn't want it to be. Oh yeah. It's just so cute. It just does what I asked of it. So Mike's up on a ladder and I don't know if you guys can see that up there in the sky, but like the buzzards are circling. <laughs> I think they're convinced he's gonna fall off at any moment now. I hear lightning. Sure do. Of course, I also hear a pool party with karaoke going on. But what's new about that? Shocking. And look at that. The western sky is ominous. All right, throw the upper right red switch. Okay. Oh, cool. Nice. <laughs> it looks good. Looks much better than it did before, I'll tell you that. Wow. A lot of work went into that. Got a ridiculous work went into that. It was worth it. Looks super good, honey. It turned out wonderful. Yeah. I was gonna move the ladder because I think the front of the bus is actually done now. Well, Mike's going to attempt to turn the bus the other way in our driveway. So it will be pointed from east to west instead of north to south. We want to do this to test the difference in temperature when the sun is up 
over the deck of the bus all day long, and so the bus is sort of in the shade. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of a temper temperature difference there is. Big BZ50. We are shoreline the game. Yes. So now there's a test to see uh, how much different the temperature, the interior temperature for our bus is now that we've parked from east to west. Yeah, this will be a really interesting test. Yeah. Trying to see. And uh, if Jessica comes back, honestly, there'll be enough room for her to pull in kind of like this on that side of us. True. So now we get to see how well our bus does this way. Yeah. And coolly, like just uh, not by design, but more by convenience, that's facing east. So the the sun in the morning will fall in the in the front there, but the sun in the evening will heat up the back of the bus, which I don't know, we'll see how that works. Yeah, I think we might want to change that in the future because we don't want a baking hot oven of a bedroom to go into at bedtime right, right. and that's where all the heat will stay but then in the afternoon while we're sitting in the front of the bus unless we put something over that yeah but we could have reflectix yeah, just true. for the afternoon big true. whoop and it's only the two front windows it's not all the side ones so we won't feel all claustrophobic and yeah, closed in you know that's true. we can just protect ourselves from the western sun and I think a lot of it is just going to depend on where we're parked, too. Some places we might have plenty of options. Other places we might be a little more restricted. Well, it's been a while since I've seen this. I know, huh? It's weird how big our driveway actually is. Just so y'all know, Mike's been working on about a hundred little odd jobs and projects around the bus none of which are big enough to do a whole episode about, but all of which need to be done nonetheless. Yeah. So this is just um, reusing a piece of rubber off of our original bus door. And he's using it like a flap over the hinge area to make it more, more waterproof, I guess would be yeah. the way to say that. <laughs> Yeah, it just adds waterproofing to that back hinge and it covers the ugliness of the weld job that I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a beautification and waterproofing process. It worked out pretty well. I think I'm just gonna leave it silver. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, it doesn't look bad at all. All right, down to the last one. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Now we're gonna slit these things so that this goes flush. Okay, so here, let me show you what the problem is. The rubber stands up over the hinge. So he's just gonna make two little, oh, Closer, like to just on the top of it. There you go. There we go. And then you'll probably have to cut that off short. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just going to stick out and be obnoxious. Cool. Making it up as we go along. Like we've done the whole bus. Exactly, Mundo. <laughs>